I'm Jessie. I've been a full-time artist for 10 years and thought it about time I start sharing my painting techniques and adventures. Subscribe to join me every week for a window into my art life. Hi and welcome back to another episode of Art Life. This week marks the one year, one year anniversary of being in coronavirus pandemic lockdown. Um, so I've been for a whole year in my home studio in Suffolk. I think I've spoken to you a little bit about that before. Basically painting the Suffolk skyscape landscape uh, as it's the main thing to paint around here. So as a landscape painter with lockdown, haven't been able to travel, haven't been able to go places for inspiration. It's been really about being inspired by what's on your back door, or my back door, um, which for me was skyscapes. Um, in September, we had a little bit of a break from lockdown and I managed to go to Old Jet Studios, um, which is just up the road from me here in Suffolk, doing a residency, which was amazing, but we made a film about it and it gives you a bit of insight into what it's like for me painting when I'm not in lockdown, when I can go places and meet a bunch of really cool people and talk about what inspires my practice. Um, so I thought you'd like to see that video because I haven't shared it on here before. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Um, here it is, like and subscribe if you like it. If you've got any comments below, I'd love to hear about it. Um, so yeah, enjoy. This 2020 body of work encompasses light, space and atmosphere. Over this past year, like so many, I've been unable to travel, no longer seeking inspiration along wild ocean coastlines, painting in an elemental and carefree way. Instead, I've had to hunker down in one spot on the east coast of Suffolk. I've been forced to create a different kind of space for myself in paint, one of skyscapes and expanse. I now spend most of my time looking up. Each cloud is a portrait of a memory. Not exact, as it moves too quickly, but as a representation of how light moves me as a painter. I've just started what feels like a long journey with this work. I'm attempting to define a style of painting which captures intangible light on canvas. You've got to be careful to kind of just keep it really lots of movement and kind of really clear about what you're looking for with light and shadow and then just walk away. In my opinion, what sets Michael Harding oils apart is the rich and undiluted pigments. Because of this luxurious quality of the medium and I'm trying to capture the luminosity of light, it makes my job infinitely easier. I'd like to say it's contemporary romanticism in landscape painting, but in essence, it's just obsession. 